Good afternoon, everyone. Back in my shed today. I'm cleaning up a little fat wood, splitting up some cedar. Uh, this is a response to some comments on two videos I've put up recently. Number one, and I want to make very clear, this person and I having a discussion. My YouTube channel is not about education, it's entertainment, and entertainment only. I am not looking to attract young people. I think you used the term of filling their heads with mush. Uh, they want to come, they enjoy what I put up, they want to make a wise remark, they want to make a funny remark, they want to make a serious remark, all good. They want to hit the dislike button, go for it, have a ball. I don't care. But I'm not looking to attract people for educational purposes, old or young. Let's get that straight. The second thing I've noticed from reading this person's channel and stuff that about calling people out, when you're going to call somebody out, make sure you're right on what you're calling them on. Now I'm going to explain to you the difference between balsam and spruce because I see from your comments, you have no idea what I was talking about, but you interjected and shot your mouth off like you did. And by the way, balsa wood is something I used to make airplanes out of when I was a kid and has absolutely no fat wood or rosin in it as far as I know. I really don't know much about it. It doesn't grow here in the U.S. as you pointed so clearly out to me. Now if you'd like to Google balsam and see if I'm wrong, because I see you're very good with Google, go ahead. But I'm going to explain it to you in the next couple clips I tag to this. If you have an issue with my channel, please feel free to make your wise remarks, but make sure you're right, because I'm going to call you right back on them. I'm filling people's heads with mush. Okay, I said I would explain the difference between a spruce and a balsam. The biggest difference is a spruce tree has a hurl type needle. It goes all the way around the branch. Not as desirable for a Christmas tree because it makes it a little more difficult to decorate that way. Plus, the needle itself, which you can't see on this camera, I can't even see with the naked eye, are round, not flat. Those right there are two spruce cones. These can grow quite tall, live quite a long life, and grow quite tall. And I think they range out a lot more than balsam do in the area in which they grow. But that is a spruce tree, just a standard old spruce tree. I believe there's 40 different species of them. Okay, we'll just walk carefully up here. These are balsam trees, Christmas trees, overgrown Christmas trees. That's all they are. This one never would have made a Christmas tree. Very poor specimen. Charlie Brown tree at best. The needles only are halfway around. The needles are flat. It's the big difference there. The next thing is the bark. The bark on these, that's balsam bark. They'll never change. Up there, as you mentioned in the first video, are the little boils right on a balsam. See it pop? Just like a big zip. That is the difference between a balsam and a spruce. As far as the fat wood, lumber quality, about anything else, there really aren't a whole lot of difference. Whoops, sorry. I wanted to add something to this video. My regular viewers, um, I appreciate all of you. I enjoy your comments. I enjoy your videos the most. That's what I'm here for. A lot of people I subscribe to, I watch everything they put up. 
No, I don't always get the time to comment. I don't always get the time to answer all my comments. I wish I did. Um, I try to watch most everything that a lot of people that I enjoy and I converse with. And I don't want to make any hard feelings with any of my regular viewers here. The problem I have with a person, I'm going to make this very simple, that acts like a know-it-all, and I've watched a couple videos from the channel, they're rude, they're condescending, and they push people away that otherwise have some really good stuff. So what? A guy pumped his stove wrong. He would have figured it out. We don't need to do a rude, condescending video, acting like some kind of an expert, and hurt this person's feelings because a lot of people, other than to just say, piss off, will, will um, just, just go away. They won't make videos anymore. They say, oh, geez, I was wrong. Oh. Well, it doesn't bother me to be wrong. Of course, I've been wrong more in my life than I've been right. I don't really care. And if I am wrong and somebody taps me on the shoulder and says, hey, this is the way it is, fine. But when this guy comes on twice, and I didn't call him on it, I should have. Because I really thought the first time he's not spelling the word correctly. And then the second video, when he actually told me about it coming from South America, I thought he hadn't got a clue what he's talking about. And he's telling me and other people as he says in his discussion, I'm going to call people out because I don't like people filling up people with mush heads. Well, if you're going to call people out, then don't be a mush head yourself. You know, and I, I really don't want to hurt anybody's feelings that, that I watch, and you know who you are. There's people on there, I comment, we converse back and forth. You have really good stuff, I enjoy your stuff, I like it just the way it is. Nobody needs to do a bunch of editing as far as I'm concerned. If I want to watch something edited, I'll, I'll, I'll sign up and get cable. I don't want to watch that. I, I'm perfectly happy to watch somebody do it and put it up there. If you trip along the way, so be it. If we were all that good, we'd all be professionals in Hollywood. Have a nice day.